What's up everyone? This is Deagle Beagle and today we're going to go over Iron Jugulus and how to use it. So this Pokemon was used by Brendan Zhang, Cybertron's younger brother, and he was one of the only people to use Iron Jugulus, which was used on some teams with Gothitelle about a year ago when there was uh, Charlotte Regionals around that time. And let's look at if this is the best set. It, it looks like it is from a glance, but we should go into the typing chart and see what other moves it gets and alternative items and whatnot. So, po so first off, this Pokemon is weak to not fighting, not bug, because it's part flying. It's weak to fairy and then on the dark side and then i think on the flying side wait what are dark type i think those are the only three three things dark types are weak to yeah so just fairy on the dark side and on the flying side is weak to all three flying weaknesses so ice rock and electric so this pokemon's weak to four things and poison is good versus the most common one which is fairy or at least fluttermane the powerful one and it takes neutral from ice electric and rock so it's not too bad of a terra now you probably should use a terra that resists fairy because otherwise you'll just get dazzling gleam and and also since that's a spread move it's just easier for them to just use it and knock you out without having to commit to single targeting you unlike a lot of ice moves there's not a lot of blizzard it's more like ice spinner and rock slide isn't super common or if it is it's not as powerful as dazzling gleam so i i wouldn't use probably terra fire either be, i wouldn't use terra fire because you'll keep your rock weakness and then Terra Steel might be fine, especially since it's part flying, so they're probably not going to use a ground move against you. But then you could take damage from like Heat Wave or something. Super effective damage, ground moves. It's, and well, actually, ground doesn't matter because it, poison is also weak to ground. Uh, so it would be f fighting and other moves so poison seems like probably the best the second best terra is probably steel i don't think there's much advantage to use steel though unless it's like on a rain team then you get rid of that fire weakness and it isn't so bad so i guess you could say on a rain team you could use terra steel but otherwise i probably wouldn't use it um just going to nickname it Rain Team so we don't forget. So this, th these four moves seem really useful. Tailwind, Snarl, and Air Slash. And then the fourth move, Protect seems useful, especially if you can't counter Fake Out, or even if you can, just to prevent Fake Out and, and attacks in general. And it's probably going to give you more use than, like, another move. You could use... Let's go over here. You could use like Heat Wave. I wouldn't use Meteor Beam. You would need power for that. And Hurricane, I guess, would be decent if you had Rain, but that's kind of relying on Rain, so I don't even think I would use it on a Rain team necessarily. Unless you also have Air Slash. Okay, so Earth Power's a decent move. Uh, let's look at what Walls Air Slash, because Snarl is used mostly for lowering special attack, not so much for doing damage. So flying is resisted by electric, rock, and steel. So earth power would probably be the better pick than heat wave because it super affects two types out of the three that resist air slash. So if you had to pick one, yeah, in fact, when I used to use this on a rain team, I had earth power on it and booster energy 
you probably you want it to race speed because you'll have a really fast tailwind but in case you just want to use it for offense i guess you could just give it um more special attack but i don't see the point of that really this is just one idea you can make it timid and give it like more special attack but it's bulky it has some special attack and it has speed and it makes more use out of its base stats unless you need significantly more special attack or speed then you could use something like this it just depends but 160 yeah actually you might want to to outspeed urshifu so actually i think what brandon zang did was he probably barely outsped urshifu scarf urshifu which is 244 speed so in other words let's go to urshifu's base i mean it's uh max speed before the scarf one yeah it's 163 so but there's also like scarf chiyu and whatnot so you probably want like 168 speed just to outspeed scarf chiyu or scarf zapdos galarian and this shouldn't say neutral i gotta delete this I don't know what this is. Uh, that's a mistake. So, yeah. You could use 168 speed. You could use... If you want more special attack, but you don't necessarily need it. But don't do more than 167 because... You want it to boost speed. And now you have more special attack to Air Slash or Urshifu. We should even see how much that does to a min bulk one. Even though they could use more bulk than men. But just for a frame of reference, it would have, what was it, 167, 167 special attack versus Urshifu. Even though Urshifu could tear water or something. So Air Slash would actually knock it out clean. You wouldn't even need that much special attack to knock it out. So you could use more bulk if you wanted to. I might use more bulk actually. I forget what Brandon Zhang was using. Scene. Let's see. I think it would say, yeah, on in the stream. Uh, let's go back. Well, 201. He is 201. Actually, let me do it as a separate thing because I might want to save this. Yeah, see, I knew he used, like, around max HP. So, 201. Oh, that is max HP. So, did he use this exact spread? Because that would have made sense. And 149 would probably one-shot Urshifu unless it's Terra Water. Even if... Oh. Um, now I don't know because maybe he's content with it not one shotting Nershifu or he uses less speed on it. But I would think you would want to use Timid so that you outspeed Urshifu. But I really don't know what nature it is because it doesn't say that in the OTS and would have to do some damage calculations. But he either uses this or he uses like a, a lower speed one, like 138 or 143 or whatever to out, just barely outspeed bundle and Fluttermane. So it's hard to say what, what he uses, but I'm going to do another EV spread and see what it might have been. It might have been... Let's see, 143 would outspeed Dragapult, even though you could use 138, because almost no one uses Dragapult, so maybe you just use, wait, no, it's speed raising, huh? Isn't it? Yeah, so he must have used, um, but he probably did use one like this with way less special attack, 
even though I wouldn't use that probably I would use one that makes it so they have to have bulk on on Urshifu and why does it hold on why the heck does it jump like that oh it was it was uh, the booster energy boosting the special attack the whole time alright so yeah maybe it does have low special attack then let's just see how much we need though 166 or one six no 165 so 165 but then you would have to take some out, out of HP 165 actually you would need to be timid <laughs> yeah that wouldn't even work it's not worth it they're just gonna tear water anyways you would have to use something like this and I don't think that's worth it where did I put earth power yeah and then let's look at one more iron jugulus set you could probably use like a utility move with it over protect maybe like taunt or something like that let's see what else it gets but you would probably want protect yeah there's no other move I would use on it like taunt protect taunt or protect most likely protect for the last slot though so here are some ways you could use iron jugulus I think if I had to give it a tier without testing it at all the fact that it counters Tornadas in a sense, in some ways because they can't taunt it and you get up a Tailwind without needing to risk a Speed Tie or Booster Energy, I mean, uh, sorry, or use Mental Herb is pretty good. Even though you might have to Terra, if they say they get, have lead Tornadas, Fluttermane. You might have to Terra Poison though and set up Tailwind to match it. And if you have to do that, they could taunt you knowing that you have to um, you have to tear a poison to survive a fairy move and yeah I mean you could snarl but it's it, it would come down to a prediction most likely though they would just tail one and dazzling gleam especially since you can snarl them even though tornadus might have covert cloak but where was I going with this? Uh, it's it's it reminds me sort of like Rory Moon, except it doesn't get intimidated. It doesn't have all these weaknesses. I mean, not as many, and not a four times weakness to like fairy and I want to say bug, no, or two times to bug. But it just has less weaknesses and no four times weakness, unlike Rory Moon. And can't be taunted by priority taunt. A uh, fast snarl is unique. I know Wolfie Glick used something like that with Marcus. It might have been at the Charlotte Regional and did pretty well with it. Or actually, Marcus won with that team. Yeah. So it's the, it has potential. And flying is really good right now with all the wellspring. So I could see why Zhang used it. So I'm using Zapdos and, and it's great even when they don't use Incineroar or Intimidate or whatever. Like it's just good in general because of Wellspring forcing it to Terra and stuff. And Snarl's good in general against special attackers. Mm. It's tier might be A tier but Either A or B. It's definitely not S tier. But I don't know what tier it is. It's probably A tier. But we'll see. Probably lower end on the A tier or medium on it. It's kind of an, a slightly niche Pokemon. But. I think it, it could be really good, and Brendan Zang has done great with it, it seems like, so good for him.
I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.